golden ratio to identify. Golden ratio is called transcendence in brain waves, and I have a whole lecture on the history of the neuroscience of this. And, and it was, it, it, the mind mirror people, they had the right picture for transcendence, enlightenment, ecstasy in the brain wave alpha beta frequency mapping. Uh, and they just missed the fact that it was golden ratio from here to here. <laughs> tiss, tiss, they missed it. Oh, well. <laughs> but the concept was there. Anyway, there's a whole history of this. But when you actually measure it, what it looks like is here. This is someone having a bliss experience. Ah. 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 Right? And what happens is your spine liquid pumps in phase, and we know all about the physics of Kundalini, and I spent a lifetime teaching this. And sure enough, you get one, two, three, four, five harmonics in golden mean ratio, golden mean, golden mean, golden mean, in your EEG cross-hemispheric brainwave power spectra. This is my invention, my technology. It's called the Bliss Tuner. Da, da, da. So, what's happening to the electric field around your body when you're having enlightenment? Is it complicated? No. It's simple. This is the electric field around your body during human bliss. This is why we have bumper stickers that say, get fractal or get dead, because in fact, that's what you have to do. You have to get centripetal, and that defines life. I actually, I actually brought the book along with me tonight. I didn't have this the other day. The book is called Healing is Voltage by my friend Dr. Jerry Tennant, MD. You scan over the body, and wherever the body is electronegative, it's healthy. Wherever the body is electropositive, you've got disease. Pretty simple, right? <laughs> Healing is voltage. So what is electronegativity? Hint. If you ask any physicist what an electron is, he'll tell an electron is, he'll tell a fractal black hole. <laughs> so electronegativity is fractal. It's centripetal. So the ability to be alive depends on the ability to suck in charge. Or, to put it very simply, it really sucks. Y you get the flavor that this ability to create centripetal force is the secret of life. And that interested me. So that's why I started writing this software. Actually, I have to, I have to backtrack a little bit. ANZ Bank, here in Melbourne, ordered my system to teach their bank managers how to have empathy for other cultures. And the same technology, the heart tuner, bliss tuner, it takes a power spectrum of two people's EKG and displays the harmonics and then displays the musical fundamental of two persons' hearts and teaches them to line up their hearts so they come into phase lock. And when two people's hearts enter the same musical fundamental, you have the physics of empathy. So this is called empathy training or corporate consensus process or peacemaking, actually, and it's also used by one of the largest Tantra schools in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. um, because the physics of Tantra is actually the fusion of living plasma between two people, which is made possible when phase lock, just like, you know, the grandfather clocks in the room have to... <laughs> well, when your hearts link up, you have the physics for the biologic entrainment that actually allows your aura to merge with another person's aura which is an introduction to Tantra, the fusion of plasma. And actually, tonight's lecture is going to end, the second half of tonight's song and dance is actually about how you do that in groups. And it's called The Physics and the Psychology of Alchemy. So that's where we're going later in the lecture tonight. But in the beginning, in this introduction, I just wanted to show you how I got interested in this concept of why golden ratio solved problems that physics has been puzzled with for years. I mean, has physics known the electrical nature of life? No. Now we do, actually. We truly do. We know, for example, how it is that a pine cone actually makes voltage from gravity or a chicken egg. It's, it's a very basic and fundamental question. But here we are, we're in a lab here in Melbourne, and we're 
putzing around with high frequencies, trying to get implosive collapse happening for hydrogen, which means there would be energy in that collapse of charge and therefore a solution to our energy crisis. Well, cool. But what is it that makes that collapse of charge have energy? And I suggest to you that if you knew why there is a voltage you can measure from here to here on a pine cone or there's a voltage you can measure from there to there on a chicken egg. In the case of the chicken egg, it's about 4 to 12 millivolts. If your voltmeter is high impedance, you can measure that voltage. And if your biology teacher doesn't know where that comes from, that voltage comes from, they really should not get a paycheck, honestly, because they don't know what life is. It's true. The source of that voltage from here to here, just like the voltage from here to here in the pine cone, comes about because there is an electrical difference in pressure from here to here. And that electrical difference in pressure is a difference in fractality. So this is basically what would be called a fractal capacitor. What do I mean when I say fractal? When I say fractal, imagine fern, onion, pine cone, rose. You got it? The inside looks like the outside, right? That's it. That's all I mean when I say fractal. It's a profound but simple concept where the inside looks like the outside. Oh, you pick your lover because she's fractal. Right, the inside looks like the outside. You get how beautiful that is? Very attractive. Yes, true. Hmm. Okay. So, the fractality of the arrangement of these seeds on the pine cone creates a voltage from gravity called life. That's the new information. That's the profound idea here that this geometry creates a centripetal force essential to life. So every, every living protein, including DNA, has a simple top-down view like this the ten spirals of the golden mean. Remember the two pine cones kissing? The top-down view looks like this. So every protein that's alive, including your DNA, and now we see, we know that this is also literally the equation for hydrogen's radii is right here as well. And that's the actual basis of our research project here in Melbourne. So why? What is it about that rose-like fractal geometry which is the solution to compression where the inside looks like the outside that allows that to get voltage from gravity to actually gain inertia from implosive collapse that's the issue ride the long wave Uncle Joe where was that long wave in Surface of the Zavuya by, Carl, the, by Jose Argoyas do you know? <laughs> the long wave goes into the short wave actually the long wave goes into the center <laughs> and if you ride that wave moving in toward implosion even in the Tai Chi if you make that motion correctly you trace a golden spiral with your fingertip your fingertip Tai Chi correctly you felt